welcome to my curls. I was recently asked a question and I never thought about this before. I don't think it's anything I've ever talked about in any of my YouTube videos. And the question was, how do I refresh my hair? On the days that I don't wash my hair, what do I do to make it look good? How do I wear my hair? What is my refresh routine? And so I am going to share that with you. I know most of you are watching this because you have curly hair, but I have to say a lot of the reason that I'm able to now go four days without washing my hair is because I have gray hair. It is because I stopped coloring my hair. When I was coloring my hair, my hair was so damaged there is no way that I could go four days. I was washing my hair every other day. And now that I've gone gray, there is no more dye, there is no more color. My hair is so much more healthy and I can go four days without washing it. Going gray has been a key factor in allowing me to extend my wash days and for my hair to look good on the days that I don't wash it, which is fantastic. So today I washed and styled my hair and there are some things that I want to tell you on day one. We're going to call this day one wash day. And if you all have any questions about how I style my hair, I did a whole video on it. I'll link it right up here so you all can see my entire routine. And if you're interested in the products that I use, again, there's another video. The way that I know it is time for me to wash my hair, the number one way I know is my head starts to itch. Clearly, the number two indicator is my hair starts to look bad, my curls start to droop, I start to get frizzy, and I just need to wash my hair. But really, it's when my head starts to itch, I know I gotta wash my hair. So this morning, I got up, I washed, I dried, and I styled my hair, and here it is. So let me give you an up-close look at what my hair looks like and some things that happen on wash day that will not be as evident on day two and three and maybe day four if I can make it that long. So up close, let's just get up close with my hair. First of all, notice I really do not have any frizz at all. There might be a random hair every now and then that sticks out, but I don't have any frizz. Now my hair naturally right in here gets a little straighter. I get a wonky curl pattern and I have a little, if you can see it, a little spot that's kind of thinning, which is not cool. I mean, I'm not liking that. See how very, very defined the curls are. I mean, look at that. That is like the perfect corkscrew. And my hair is kind of like that all around my head. Can you see? Let me show you the back. So I have just a lot of volume in the crown. Everything's kind of evenly distributed. It's very even along the bottom. See how I have kind of loose, loosey bouncy curls right in here? This is what happens on wash day. I'm having a good hair day. My hair feels my curls feel solid. Y'all know what I mean? You curly hair ladies, you know what I mean. They're not loosey-goosey. They're not going anywhere. They're just solid, good-looking hair today on wash day. Well, hey, Pollux, what you doing? Can y'all see Pollux? Come here. Are you wanting to be in the video, Pollux? He just saying, hey, y'all. Can you see right there? <laughs> there are two key elements that on wash day I must do in order to be able to maintain my curls for day two and day three and maybe even day four if I get lucky. The first critical, critical thing when I, on the day that I wash my hair and style my hair, the wetter my hair is, when I put products in my hair, the better my hair performs and the longer my hair will last. Did that make sense? <laughs> but it is so, so true. If my hair is dripping, soaking wet, when I put the products in it, 
I will be able to get more days out of my hair and those days my hair will look better. The second thing that I know and I absolutely live by, and if you have curly hair, you have got to do this in order to uh, maintain your hair for several days. What you do to your hair at night when you go to bed and how you sleep is so critical as to whether you will be able to maintain your curls on day two or three or four. And I did a whole video about how I sleep with curly hair. I'll link it right up here. If I do those two things properly, I should be able to get four days out of my hair. Today is wash day, today is Tuesday. So I will see you tomorrow morning and we'll see what kind of hair I've got. Hey, good morning, y'all. It is day two. It is Wednesday morning and yeah, this is my hairdo at the moment. <laughs> so I am doing this live. I have not looked at my hair. This is what it looked like when I got out of bed this morning, minus the headband. I've already just rinsed off in the shower. I have my headband popped up on my head. And if you're wondering why, you need to watch my video about how I keep my makeup out of my gray hair. I'll link it right up here. But when I was done with that video, I just popped this headband back just so that you all could see this is exactly what I look like when I start my hair. My hair is the very last thing that I do. I'm dressed, I'm ready, my makeup's on, my clothes are on. Literally, that my hair is the last thing that I do. But today is day two. I washed my hair yesterday and I made sure that I slept with my hair up in this super high pineapple with a silk scrunchie and a silk pillowcase. I have to go to the ice cream shop today and if you're new to my channel, I own an ice cream shop, y'all. I'm going there today to clean and clean and clean, and I'm going to paint. So I'm just going to very carefully pop off this headband so that I don't disturb any of my hair, and I'm going to pull the silk scrunchie out, and I'm going to hang on to my hair so I don't disturb anything. And you see, it just kind of pops out like that. That's cute. Okay, my hair has not been down since I got out of bed. This is what it's been like. My hair has a tendency to get really heavy right here and fall in my face. And because it's been up all night, it's kind of like hanging off of my head like this. But, I'm just gonna kind of just very gently shake it down for a second. Give it a little fluff. Let's just see what we got. So these are just the thoughts going through my head. I've got some frizz, look right here. See yesterday when I washed my hair, I did not have frizz. And if you can see, I just have kind of a frizzy layer right here and I'm starting to get frizzy right up here. And this is mainly, I do get frizzy here because I'm a side sleeper. So when I'm sleeping, this is the part that's kind of rubbing on my silk pillow. But otherwise, it's not too bad. I got a little wonky right here, and you can see that that corkscrew, the perfect curls around my face that I showed you yesterday, they've kind of, they've kind of disappeared. I don't know where they went. They've either gotten tangled up in some other curls, or I, well, actually, it might be. I think it's right in here. But see how it's attached to something else and I am not gonna pick that apart because it will just like fray the ends. So, the next thing that I always do is turn my head upside down and I'm gonna take my fingers right here at the roots and I just give it a little shake. I feel like it just wakes my hair up and anything that would be stuck together, it's gonna kinda break it loose, so let's do that. This is weird, can you see me? <laughs> But all I'm gonna do, I just turn my head upside down and I take my fingers and I just put it right here and I just give it a little shake. And then I just kind of bounce and fluff my hair around. Not a lot, I'm not really disturbing anything. Just kind of breaks things loose. And we'll take out with me when I stand my hair up. Okay. All right, so see, oh look, look, the corkscrew. It did come out. It was just stuck in there. All I did was just kind of shake things loose. I, my hands are dry. I don't have any product on my hands. I put nothing on my hair. So I'm just gonna kinda, 
right up in here, I'm so curly, like right here on my neckline, and this side also, I have like zero curl pattern. It is just a big mess of fuzz, like it's all it is. But, kind of pop that down. Let's look at the back. Just gonna give it a little volume. Look at this crazy curl right up here, you see this? So I've got two options. I can pull it back in a bread or I can put on a headband. We're gonna do a headband today, I think. So I love a super thick headband. If I use a little skinny headband, I put it on my hair and then it like rises up, it will not stay put. So I have to have thick, thick headbands. And all I'm gonna do is flip my head upside down, put the headband in and stand up. And I want my hair to go straight back. Just give her a little fluff. And let's see. I think this is gonna be my hair today, y'all, in a headband. It's out of my face, it's exactly what I need, um, cause I'm gonna be cleaning at the ice cream shop. And since I need it out of my face, I'm going with a headband. I love a headband. So, I'm not gonna use any hairspray. I've added no product to my hair today, nothing. I can fix my hair on day two and three in under like three minutes because I do nothing. So the last thing I have to do to be able to walk out the door is my earrings. Y'all know I love my earrings. Without my earrings, I just feel naked and I feel like they help me just kind of come to life when I have my little earrings in. And that's it. I'm heading to the ice cream shop. So I'll see you tomorrow for day three. Hey guys, it is day three. It is Thursday and same as yesterday, I've been up, I've had my shower, I got my makeup on, and I'm ready to do my hair. I'm dressed, I'm ready. Today I'm going to do something super fun. I won a gift card to a local pet store boutique here. And so Brecken and I are taking the dogs, Pollux and Maxie, in the car to the pet store. I'm gonna let the dogs pick out anything they want. And so this could be fun. So look out for that video coming soon. But right now, let's talk hair. Headband off, super, super easy. And I'm gonna pop out my silk scrunchie. Careful not to pull my hair. Woo! Okay. So just like yesterday, instantly all this falls to my face and I'm really flat, like right here. I got zero, look zero volume back there. Now look at all the frizz. See, I'm getting super frizzy right here. I've got all this frizz, like there's just a layer, like a halo of frizz. Can y'all see that? Just like a halo of frizz. I still, however, look here, have that corkscrew that I had on day one. It's getting a little fatter, which means my curls are, you know, kind of falling a little bit, but it's still there. So let me show you, this is, ugh, let's just shake it out a minute. I'm just gonna kinda give it a little shake. I'm not really gonna mess with the top. Oh, I can tell like, just sticking my, let's see, look, here's that spot I told you, which is just a bird's nest of, it won't even curl. It is just a bird's nest of frizz and tangles. But, oh well, it is what it is. Okay. So let me flip upside down and see what we've got. I'm just gonna run my fingers, dry hands through my scalp like this a little bit and just kind of fluff stuff. Okay, let's flip. Alrighty. Okay, well it made, it brought the, this crown area to life a little bit. See how it, I didn't really disturb anything. It just, 
puffed everything up. It got any of the curls or any of the hair that was just squished down overnight. It just brought that volume back up. But you can see right here, see how frizzy I've gotten. This really doesn't have any more curl pattern. Super frizzy right here. Right, but here's what it looks like, just fluffed. If I need to refresh my, fresh my hair, which I do because I'm getting some crazy frizz, this is the product that I'm gonna use. And here's how I do it. I get my hands wet. I just run them under the sink. So I got wet hands. I'm gonna put one little pump in my hand, rub it around, and then I just kinda rub and scrunch. Just in the areas that I have some frizzy parts, like right in here, and it really does kind of calm it down and bring my curls back to life just a little bit. I'm gonna have to do one more. So wet hands, little pump, rub my hands together. I'm gonna do this side. See, I'm just kind of, I'm not pulling anything. I'm just kind of scrunching it in and just rubbing the surface of my hair. I'm gonna kind of do that all around so my hair's not really wet. So when my hair starts to stick to my hands, I know it's time to stop. And that's what was happening, so that's all I can do. It's only been about three minutes and my hair's completely dry. Like I said, I really didn't even get it wet. That little bit of water just allowed me to put the skinny serum on there. And it didn't noticeably lessen the frizz, but it did bring my hair in a little bit. It just, Kind of adds a little bit of shine because my hair does tend to get dry as the days go on. So it's probably hard for you to see on the video, but I did get a little bit of shine. I did get a little more definition and my hair just feels better to the touch. So let's see if we can get it in a barrette. And if not, it's gonna go in a ponytail. So if I were to pull this back, just this little front bunch right here, Like I could probably get by with that. It's it's kind of even. All right, let's go for a barrette. I have really big barrettes because I have a lot of hair, and then I have smaller barrettes that have teeth in them. And because I just have a teeny amount of hair pulled back, I'm gonna go with the smaller barrette today. Well, let's get this in here. And it looks like when you're looking at me from the front that I have a lot of hair pulled back, but really I don't. Let's see. All I did was put that little teeny barrette. It's up in there. It's not even like attached. I don't know, it's not great, but it'll do. It's not like I have anything important to do. And I know tomorrow for a fact, my hair is gonna be in a ponytail. Like. This is day three, barrette is okay simply because the shape is, is okay. Day four, no way am I gonna be able to wear my hair down. It is gonna be in a ponytail, but this'll do for day three. Oh, 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 hold on. My earrings, I gotta put my earrings in. So here it is, day three hair. All I did was the same upside down, kind of shake it out, scrunching around. And then with wet hands, I used a little bit of the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum, just a little bit. And this is acceptable to me. So I'm gonna go with it today, day three hair. So off we go, I'll see you tomorrow for day four hair. Well, here we are, day four of the hair. But I can tell you, it is gonna be a ponytail day. And here's how I know. Can you see the layer of fuzz and frizz everywhere? Yeah, there is no way that I can my hair, wear my hair down on day four. Here, let me show you what I got. Again, take my headband off. I'm gonna take out my scrunchie. Silk scrunchie, which this is the scrunchie I'm gonna put my hair back up with. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Woo, okay. Because I put the skinny serum in my hair yesterday on day three, 
I can always tell that my hair just kind of takes on a little bit of a different texture on the next day. I don't really know how to describe it to you. It's just like a little bit heavy, kind of. Um, but look here, like look at all the frizz. Look at this. Like I've definitely, can you see this? I've lost my curl pattern along my face. This is not great. This gets really crazy. Let me see, let's see. Remember, I'm looking at this at the, at the same time you all, for the first time. Okay, this is just nothing but a rat's nest over here at this point. Like there is no great curl pattern happening. See, straightness in here. And then this gets really stringy. And then under here, look, it's just even more of a mess. Like, look at this. No curls. There are no curls. It is just a mess of wound up fuzzy, frizzy hair. But there is nothing I can do about it. Okay, so I'm going to flip my head upside down one last time for day four. So let's do it. Shaking at the roots just a little bit. And then I'm going to fluff. Turn my head around and just, I'm just fluffing. Okay, let's flip. Whew. See how much volume that added back into my hair? Just that upside down flip. I'm not gonna put any product in my hair today because I used the Skinny Serum yesterday. My hair could not tolerate um, another day of that. It would just weigh it down. But see how it just gave me so much more height and it will make my ponytail look better. Okay, just pull her down in here. Yeah, ooh, this is just a mess right here. Just a mess. Okay, so my ponytail, because my hair goes this way, if I try to pull all my hair straight back, I get this huge like lump in the middle. So I kind of have to like pull it back and twist to get everything to lay down properly. But what I do is just very gently pick my hair up in little kind of sections like that. And I like a high ponytail. I just lightly keep bringing it up higher, higher, higher. Okay, gonna go with that. Silk scrunchy. And I got a little ball, a little ball of colored hair on the top of my head. That is what my ponytail is these days. Okay, I'm gonna kinda pull some out on the sides. You see all the frizz? I just have a lot of frizz because it's, it's day four, guys. So what I'm gonna do is take a smidge of my Pantene and I'm gonna do just a spritz. And I am going to just kind of lay down a little bit of that frizz, just a smidge. And then I'm gonna come right in here. I don't like like a total slick ponytail or a slick for me anyway. I kind of like the hair in front of my ears to fall down and just look a little bit, even if I pull them down and then I tuck them behind my ear so that I've got something hanging, that's really what I prefer. And then the last thing, my earrings. There you have it. Let me do a turn and show you the back of my head. Here's my, my little ponytail from the side. Back and side. But there it is, guys. This is my look for the day, but tomorrow, for sure, I'm gonna have to wash my hair. Four days is the max that I can go without washing my hair, and day four, it's pretty much always in a ponytail. I hope you all have enjoyed watching me go through day one, day two, day three, day four, and see how my hair and my curls changed as the days went on and kind of see how I was able to style my hair. I hope you all have enjoyed seeing me day after day after day. I've enjoyed doing it. This has actually been fun. 
So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, y'all. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Welcome to my curls is where I love to talk about my hair, my gray hair and my curly hair. Thank you all for watching. I'm so glad that you're here and I'll see you next time.